blissfully unaware of the damage protracted war can wreak on their idyllic cluster of homesteads, the villages of Tickle are pure of heart and unblemished of face and neck. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of my Dungeon Keeper walkthrough, this time so it's Tickle. Beach. We have another transfer creature and we're using the level 10 mistress again because who doesn't love a level 10 mistress? Uh, this level's you need to build a lair for your creatures. pretty similar to Wish Vale in the way that we've got, uh, except this time the heroes don't have a dungeon, they're kind of just spread out across the map. You must build a treasure room to store gold. Also, there appears to be um, something up with the script for this level, um, that the Lord of the Land never appears, but that comes later, and to be honest it could be something you to do to with me your screwing around with the script or the map, because um, I used to do that on this game, and this is an old install, so... I know. What I'm going to start doing is pointing out interesting features on the map. The green and blue arrows you'll see are for claimable creatures and specials, red arrows are for where the heroes are, pink for the gems, and black is where the uh, enemy keeper is. Uh, so basically in this level the enemy keeper does have access to gems, which means in the uh, long term he should be able to outlast me with... Um, he should be able to outlast me through training etc. just because he has infinite resources and mine are finite if, despite being quite large. So there's basically just going to have to be a point at which you uh, in this level you choose to go on the attack and uh, hopefully take advantage of the fact that as I've mentioned before the AI in this game is pretty dim witted so get the level 10 mistress in the library get her uh, get her working you can see where I'm heading out to I'm heading out to that um, eight shaped block of gold there's uh, a secret and some friendly creatures behind that and also what I'm doing here is building a treasury and a small lair. The treasury is so that the imps don't have to go running miles to get has been researched. to get their uh, gold back to the treasury and the small lair is um, basically due to the fact of what we'll find behind the uh, behind the gold. Um, as you've seen in previous videos certain creatures just don't play well with others. Uh, now that that's all dug out, here's the small lair. And uh, we'll commence to digging out the rest of this gold. There is a lot of it, so we'll get a decent stack of gold in the beginning. Which is advantageous against someone who's only got a gem block, because you do when get the... Uh, has been researched. You do get your gold quicker. You have tunneled into a new area. You have Dungeons. tunneled into a new area. Dungeons built up a bit now. Um, basic five rooms, etc. That have been seen awful long, awful the lot before. Um, and I'm just building a couple of smaller rooms just for the fact that they're there to uh, they're there to attract creatures, nothing more. So there's no point building them to a massive scale. A new spell has been researched. Warlocks have been busy and they've got me the invisibility spell. Very useful actually. I haven't uh, used it used it so far, but it is actually You're very good into a new area. for um, imps claiming opposing territory because the enemy keeper can't see a them. Room has been researched. As you can see, we've dug into that area and we've come up with a couple of level 7 hellhounds and a demon spawn or two. Uh, which is quite amusing in the fact that um, Demon Spawn and Hellhounds actually hate, e actually hate each other, Your so you have to keep them area. apart. Your minions are winning a battle. Hellhounds are basically... Uh, if I'm being unkind, I could call them slightly tougher flies, which is essentially what they are. Um, they just go wandering and uh, essentially making a nuisance of, myself, of themselves. The only slight difference being that they can actually protect themselves in a fight. Um, not to the level that, say, a Bile Demon or a better creature can, but they'll, the been they'll run through most of what the uh, 
they'll at high levels they'll run through most low level creatures. And as you can see, there's a transfer creature special up there as well, so we'll be using we'll be um, using that to our advantage. You know, barracks just so that I can start attracting orcs, as you'll remember from the last video. I kind of like orcs. Um, train quickly, hit quite hard, decent combat. Don't generally ask for much. Prison, again, I'm probably a bit over enamoured with the prison in the early levels, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's not that useful. The heroes are generally the last thing you mop up on this map. And, uh... There's not really much worth converting. In the later levels, when you start facing higher level um, enemies, then the torture room become the torture room and the prison become a lot more useful. The torture room's useful anyway just because it attracts mistresses and mistresses are fairly useful so but the prison early on is not really a huge amount of point to it. Additionally the way, a lot of the time the way you fight enemy keepers is um by using spells or alpha striking and at that point it's really not much use to uh, it's really not much use to have imprisoning on what I'm doing now is I'm going to try and there's actually lava here but there's no your minions are winning a battle it's the hellhound going nuts again. Um, there is actually lava in between, but what I'm looking to try and do is fortify off at this point, so that the uh, enemy hero can't, the enemy keeper can't get through that uh, pile of gold, and I can get to it. Room has been researched. And the temple's been researched. Very, very useful building, as will uh, soon be seen. Hopefully, be showing off some of the uh, some of the recipes that you can throw in there. I've just got it for the pool; it doesn't attract anything. Um, it does attract some monsters in the later levels, but even then, it's very difficult. And um, I've decided at this point, I've got a lot of gold. I know where the uh, a new spell has been researched. There is nothing left to research. I know where the creatures are. Uh, I know where the enemy's mining, are winning a battle. so I can attack his economy a bit. And uh, are winning a battle. fortunately, my fly, my f are winning a battle. a fly that I let roam has uh, done its job in revealing the map to me. And now I'm just going to completely devastate the uh, opposition. It'll cost me, but it'll cost him more. There we go, that should uh, should slow him down a little bit there. But again, as you can see, having an imprisoning on there was pointless. Yeah, he's down to three creatures, so it's time to try and press our advantage home, I think, at this point. Um, I'll be getting through this gold as fast as possible. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. It is payday. Oh. As you can see, the enemy keeper does have spells available to him here, and I do make a... This is a pretty horrendous mistake here. Um, I've made a double mistake of number one leaving imprisoning on. And number two, I'm healing up my Hellhound, which is costing me a lot of gold. I should be, uh, at this point, I should be pretty just content in letting him die. 